Hello and welcome to another Optics Trade Debate. I'm Andras. I'm Masha. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between full size and low light binoculars. These two terms are quite common in the world of sports optics and we at Optics Trade also categorize binoculars on our website with these two terms. And as these two terms can get, can get quite confusing, we decided to film this debate to help our customers differentiate between the two. Yeah. Let's start with differences in magnification. Yeah, so with low light uh, binoculars, we usually have magnification from, uh, from seven to eight. So seven or eight. And then with full size binoculars, we have anything from seven to eight, 8.5, 10, 12, 15, even 20. So we have many different yeah, versions. Yeah, so a wide range of magnifications. What about lens diameter? With full-size binoculars, we have a lens diameter of 40 to 45 millimeters, mm -hmm. whereas it's a little bit more difficult with the low light category. We either have a combination of seven times magnification and 50 millimeter objective lens. Okay. We also have a combination of eight times magnification and 56 millimeter objective mm -hmm. lens. These are the two most common configurations. Then we also have eight by 54, for example, size Victory HD. Mm -hmm. And then we have some rare configurations such as nine by 63, but these are extremely, extremely rare. Okay. What about the prism systems? Yeah, so with low light binoculars, we usually have abaconic, so roof prisms or poro prisms. These are known to be, um, to, to have the highest light transmission rate. So uh, when talking about full-size binoculars, we usually have through prism of schmidt packen type. So this is the difference. Poro is really rare here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, then let's move on to... The focusing system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the roof prism binoculars, we almost exclusively have the central focusing system. So we have a central focusing knob. Yeah. Whereas with the 8x56, it depends. We can either have central focusing system yeah. or we can have individual focusing on each eye, like is the, such is the case with this Delta Optical Extreme 7x50, and uh, the individual focusing is really popular with low light binoculars. Yeah. What about the exit pupil? Yeah, so the exit pupil is smaller with full size binoculars. Uh, so exit pupil is calculated dividing the lens diameter with magnification. So we have here with 8x42, uh, we have exit pupil of 5.25, I exactly. think. Exactly. And with 10 by 42, we uh, have um, lower uh, exit pupil. 4.2. 4.2, yeah. So uh, in comparison to low light binoculars, here we have so bigger objective lenses and smaller uh, or seven or eight magnification. And that means that the exit pupil is somewhere around seven. And this is ideal, right? Yeah, for low light use, this is ideal because the eye can only dilate, dilate to a maximum of seven millimeters. Yes. Uh, so these are more suitable to use in low light. It's really pointless to have a bigger exit pupil because we can benefit from it yeah. even in ideal conditions, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, then we have size and weight. Yeah. It's quite logical if we take yeah. a look at them that low light binoculars are bigger, heavier. Especially uh, this one. Especially <laughs> this one. So they weigh, these ones weigh even 1,400 grams. Yeah. Then we have this uh, roof prism design around kilo yeah yeah and with full size it's around 600 700 some of the heavier are maybe around 800 yeah but we, this is the difference in in uh, in weight and the difference in size is also quite uh, obvious 25 yeah. percent even with the delta optical extreme we even yeah. have a bigger difference in size uh, so these are much easier to store in a backpack yeah. whereas these ones are quite <laughs> quite bulky and heavy to carry around yeah uh, what about the price difference? Um, yeah, so the price difference when talking about the binoculars from the same series. Uh, so full size binoculars are usually around 20 or 40 percent low, uh, lower uh, price than uh, low light binoculars. Um, yeah. Yeah. For example, if we, uh, I don't know, take a look at, um, I would say the Steiner Observer, we yeah. have the low light model is about 40 percent more expensive than full size. Yeah. Whereas with some more expensive series, the difference is, is a little bit lower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about offer? So we have, I 
presume low light binoculars are less uh, offered? Yeah, um, I would say that full size binoculars, if you decide I'll manufacture sports optics, then the full size binoculars is probably yeah. the first thing you'll put in your offer. Yeah. Whereas uh, low light are also uh, quite popular, but not every manufacturer makes them. Yeah. So still, we have a wider range of possibilities here with so the, the, the full competition size. is really bigger with here is bigger with the full size we also have more configurations here yeah what about the fields of use yeah so like the name suggests low light binoculars will be used uh, for low light use <laughs> so for yeah, hunting in uh, the dusk uh, I would say just this type of use I won't I wouldn't say 8 by 56 this big models will be used for anything else. If you're a hiker, it's yeah. pointless to have binoculars this heavy. Yeah. yeah. And then full-size binoculars are basically for all types of observations. So we have hiking, traveling, uh, observing the wildlife, uh, hunting, uh, in um, so bird watching, basically everything. everything. So you also can be a beginner and you'll go for full-size binoculars and mo even more uh, ex experienced user, sorry. Uh, we'll go for full-size binoculars. So I would say that's the only difference. So if if you go for low light only if you're a hunter and you uh, hunt in the dusk, yeah. this is the only, um, I would say, logical scenario to decide for a low light binocular. Yeah. If you would like to use it el anywhere else, else yeah. then the full size is much more universal. Yeah. So I think we covered everything. I think we did. If you like this video, leave, uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any additional questions, uh, drop them in the comment section below. Take care and see you next time. Bye.